Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with more Stardew Valley because people actually liked that I was playing it. So I'm back to play some more of it. I have not played much since last I played, so we're just going to continue onward and we're just going to keep on farming it up, baby. That's what we're going to do. Hello. He's back from his fishing trip, so let me see if I can quickly remember the controls. I remember the controls. Okay. I do not have the upgraded water pail. So yeah, I'm going to keep on playing some Stardew Valley because people uh, liked it. And I like this game. So it's that simple. <laughs> going to keep playing it. Now let me see here. Thing are, my crops are fine for now. What I need is monies. Nope. I realize there's a run button. Nope, that's not good. There we go. Alright, I guess time to head into town and figure out some stuff. If I remember right, I can go into, um, or I can go fishing. You know, that person did seem like he would have a fishing rod for me, so I better go find him. Let me see. Auto run is on, good. Ooh, oh man, I should have really kept track of everything. Let me go back to my mailbox. The beach. Okay. Visit the beach some time before PP. All right, off to the beach then. I'm pretty sure it's faster down here, unless I run into some bad stuff. Wrong, wrong thing. There we go. Hmm. May as well get some nuts while I'm going over here. Make my way through. Thankfully, this game is very calming, so I don't have to think about too many things at once. I mean, obviously, at some point, I will have to start thinking about where I want to take the farm, who I want to get married to. But, you know, all in good time. Get out of the way. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's down here. Yeah, I was right. There's the pond. Alright, going. Let's see, make my way down. I actually forget which way is the beach. Farm, Pelican Town. I don't want to go back to the farm. Oh, I can pick some of this stuff up. I forget. There we go. So how do I put it back in my inventory and I found out how? Okay, butterflies. Hmm. This thing. This is one of the things I was looking for last time I played. I couldn't remember where it is. I constantly get it confused. The location of stuff, I get it confused with uh, Harvest Moon and Friends of Mineral Town because I played thousands of hours of that game, so I have it built into me to kind of look for stuff there, and I just realized I think the beach is near town. So let's go back into town. Go up here. Make our way through. So yeah. Uh, wonder what to do next. What's up next for Adventure Farms? Well, obviously I should get more crops, get enough crops to eventually get all the other stuff I need for my farm. Let's look. But he'd honestly get in, getting some fish would be nice. Hello, little girl. Hi. Good talk. Good talk, buddy. Alright, let's see. Yes, here it is. Down to the beach this way. I keep forgetting automatic <laughs> run is on. Alright, here. I f hopefully this should give me the fishing rod. If I remember stuff right. Willy! Hello, Willy. I like your hobo aesthetics. Even though I'm pretty sure you are a fisherman with a house. Thank you for the old fishing rod, sir. I don't need a new one. Old reliable. Hmm. Thank you, sir. I bet there is some good water in the valley. I didn't know that I could just sell directly to him. Maybe they added that, or maybe I just never paid attention. It's more likely I never paid attention. Okay, there we go. Whoop. Oh, yeah. This is the excitement people came to see. Some sick fishing going on till day, till night. 
So how are you guys? Oh, there we go. Uh, I forget how to do it. No, I, I remembered. I remembered. Okay, wait. I like how as soon as I was about to start talking about my day. Yeah, there we go. Fish get sardine. Um, how you guys been doing? I've been doing pretty all right. You know, my gotchas are in a holding period, except for Fugo, which is a non-stop grinding. So I've been just kind of non-stop grinding in that. Um, though I haven't gone into full overdrive just yet. I'm getting prepared to go into full overdrive pretty soon, though. Um, and I've since then I've just been kind of like grinding some guy. I've actually been playing a lot of Dokkan now. To get some of these, I had I was playing a bunch of it to get the stones to do my final multis for Namek Super Saiyan Goku, and I'm pretty happy with my endpoint. Nope, let me put that back out. I'm just gonna sell on a fish stone real quick. I'm uh, pretty happy where I ended up. Let me see. Can't sell on this fish. Here you go, sir. Even though I feel like it'd probably be better for me to sell this, not like that, but. I should actually uh, dump a lot of this stuff so I can go full-time fish. Um, one of those things, I've been watching a lot of movies uh, while grinding stuff. I've been wa I've been watching the Rocky series. I watched Rocky 1 through 4. Um, Rocky 1 still an extremely good movie, and it's weird because it's so much built to be a good movie, and if you're someone who's only like aware of the current the way Rocky is now, I think you'd be very surprised about how much it's basically just like an indie film. It's really weird. Um, and obviously after the, it, the Rocky 1 exploded and based, I think was one of the reasons Stallone's career kind of went crazy. Because um, he was the writer and director of it. It only kind of got crazier after that. Let me go back to my house. Um... The only thing that's weird about it nowadays is that I think it actually ages in a lot of weird ways. Like the romance between Rocky and Adrian, which is a focal point of the entire series. Extremely important. Rocky's only motivation is I want to do good for Adrian. And the romance between him and Adrian is just so creepy now because of the way he is. And I guess it's not supposed to be that way because, you know, Rocky's just an idiot. Um a very, like, good-natured idiot, but, I don't know, it comes off really weird, especially the way he gets her attention, but I guess, in the context of the film, I don't know how else you're supposed to get a shy woman, I would suggest probably not doing it like that, but to be fair, him and Adrian ended up being happily married, but also that's a movie, so I don't know if that <laughs> you can do that in real life, and everything will be hunky-dory. You know, I should check, I should see how much, um, the fish and nets me. Yeah, I'll put that there. Not how much it nets me, I should check, uh, how much to get more and more inventory space. So yeah, that's like the one thing that's wrong about Rocky 1. I also feel like there could have been more Apollo, because he kind of feels like an afterthought. But maybe the more Apollo is, is Rocky 2. <laughs> Rocky 2 is a great film. Um, it's basically Rocky 1 again, but still pretty nice. Let me see here. Help wanted, trying to keep art fishing alive. Okay. I have to catch three fish for Willy. Willy wants to see my fish. Who am I? How much? 2,000? Did I talk to this old man? Yes. Back off, old man. I gotta tell you about my sleeping habits. Dogs. Um, yeah, Rocky 2 is basically just an extension of Rocky 1. Nothing really, like... I can't actually remember anything that's, like, amazing about it, funny enough. Hello, Fabio, let's talk. I think I've now met everyone. Hmm. What was the word I was looking for? Like, it's hard to put into words a movie that's just like, I don't really remember anything, but it was good, so it worked out for me in the end. Um, Rocky 3 is kind of also in a weirder situation of 
Uh, actually, the end fight of Rocky 2 is extremely good, where Rocky actually gets his uh, gets to win. Because if you don't know, Rocky, it's 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 told to be, I think, a no not a no contest, but it's like kind of like a tie at the end of Rocky one. But Rocky two immediately says that it, it was it went to decision and it went to um, Apollo, so Apollo remained champion. And then through a bunch of things, he was considered uh, not a real champion, or it was like a fake fight. Like, a bunch of crap was just talked to him, which I thought was actually very relevant to today. Um, not a lot, of, a lot of people yelling fixed for every single thing, where it's like, no, sometimes you just... You thought it was going one way, and it all went bad. <laughs> and that's a valid way to, for things to go bad. Um... And the end fight where Rocky actually wins is very good. Rocky 3 is Clubber Lang, and you get to see him fight. This is where Eye of the Tiger actually comes in, because believe it or not, Eye of the Tiger is not in the first Rocky movie. It is in the third. It gets introduced in the third. Before then, you just basically had the dun 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 how do I do this? I have to get three sunfish? I don't- where the fuck are the sunfish? Let me see, what, what kind of fish is this? Let me... Herring sardine. So I'm gonna assume that that's not where I find the sunfish. Alright, I'm off. Pick this up. Um... What was I talking about Rocky 3? Was I saying anything about Rocky 3? I think I like rules. But yeah, the, 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 the good parts about Rocky 2, um, after he wins, it's all good, and things are nice, and Rocky gets that big moment of like, Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I get to win now, alright, I'm, I'm the champion, and then everyone's like... <laughs> it's also really funny because Apollo's trainer, I wish I remembered the character's name and who the actor was, but he's just great in every single scene he's in, because he's always like, Come on, baby, don't go for it. He's like so passionate about absolutely everything related to the fight. He makes it feel real, which is very helpful. Um, also, Burgess Meredith continues to be extremely good as Mickey. It's a shame that Mickey dies in Rocky Three uh, because Clubber Lang accidentally kills him by like uh, kneeing him a little. Not kneeing. He get, he like taps him on the shoulder a little too hard, but it's never made to look like oh he did it on purpose. He didn't do it on purpose. He just what is a very inconsiderate man and he ended up killing someone so you know as it goes uh, let me sit here I feel like for tomorrow as I prepare to get more fish yeah, I think I'm fine I'm gonna go to bed sleep um what was I talking about Rocky 3 yes Clubber Lang uh, Mickey dies, and then Apollo goes to L.A. Yeah, I think this is actually why I think <laughs> Rocky Three is just okay. Is Rocky goes it, in order for Rocky to beat Clubber Lang, he needs to get back the Eye of the Tiger. So what he does is that he goes to an all-black gym where Apollo. I guess it's not like on the board; it's all black. It's more like it. It just so happens to be all black because that's where. Apollo uh, trained himself, and Apollo is now training him. So you get a little bit look into the eyes of how all that kind of goes down. Um, and in, I don't know. Is it again? The movie was made in somewhere. Whatever, whatever point it was made, people end up talking in a really weird way. It just ends up feeling really weird. It's like in order for Rocky to beat Clubber Lang, he has to be trained in the all-black gym and learned how to fight kind of like a black fighter would, kind of like Apollo does. Um, and it kind of works. Uh, he does end up winning in Rocky Three, so he gets all the power. And then at the end of that movie is the iconic, like, oh my god, ding, ding, ring the bell. All very good. Uh, but what also is good about Rocky Three is near the end of the movie um they just keep saying eye of the tiger a whole bunch apollo keeps saying it to um rocky just over and over again like you need the eye of the tiger eye of the tiger eye of the tiger i want the eye of the tiger you get the eye of the tiger come on man eye of the tiger 
let's see, green algae boo. Um, I, I just realized I didn't have to water my plants because it's raining. <laughs> so I just get the fish in the rain, baby. Um, yeah, and then Rocky Four. I think Rocky Four is no no big fans of Rocky might not like this. I think Rocky Four is the best of the entire franchise because it is just it only gets better with age. All its weird uh, borderline propaganda stuff ages amazing. Small mouth bears. It ages amazingly. All the Soviet Russia versus America stuff is great. There's a robot that Polly is implied to be fucking that he gets for his birthday, which is really weird. Which is kind of funny because, like, um, uh, Stallone is apparently working on a director's cut of Rocky IV, and he's like, I'm taking out all the, the robot, robot out of the movie. It's like, why are you taking out the robot? The robot is non non consequential. And then it turns out it's like the person who voiced the robot is like, he has to pay me if he wants to use that again, so he does not. So he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to pay me. So there's no robot in the movie. It's like oh that sucks. Um, but it's an insane movie. There's no denying the movie just pure insane because there's like a whole thing of like oh yeah the Soviets they're totally juicing their dudes and that's how they're as good as the American. That's why they're better than the American. That's why Apollo gets murdered by Ivan Drago because his man's banging the roids and I was like the funny thing is is that years later. Sylvester Stallone would say, I was banging the roids real hard. <laughs> real hard during that movie. <laughs> so it's like, okay. Just so we know, everyone was banging the roids pretty hard in that movie. It was not just the one who was, in quotes, from Russia. Or so the Soviet Union, as it was called back then. So yeah, I think that movie ages amazing. Because it, it's... Fuck being a product of your time. It was a product of its time for sure, but also it just doesn't make any sense. New record shade. Well, really, I can't. All right, get rid of the twig. But how do I? No, what? No, oh, I see what's going on here. Yeah. Uh, this stuff away somehow. Going back. Uh, but yeah, uh, Rocky IV is insane. It's a movie I absolutely love. I think all the criticisms people would have for it are probably valid, but that does not change the way I feel in feeling it is amazing. Just absolutely top notch. Also, it has an amazing soundtrack. It's got heart, hearts on fire. No easy way out. Uh, living in America. At one point, James Brown shows up for the exhibition against Apollo and Drago, and he sings "Living in America." And Apollo's out in a big Uncle Sam costume, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I want you, so good." And he's like, "It's it's insane." Carl Weathers is so good for the first thirty minutes. Not only is he good, he's like, obviously what his plan is insane and how he's doing it is like over the top, but deep down it is a, a movie about a man who thinks he is only good at one thing and he wants people to recognize him again like they did back in the day. And I think that's actually pretty valid because you see that a lot today in a lot of other sports of or or actors or anything where at a certain point... Your value of who you are as a person is so tied to something like this that once you stop doing it, people stop caring about you and it can make you feel kind of worthless because so this is the only thing you're good at. So, I mean, you see it in a lot of boxers, a lot of boxers who were amazing at what they did and they were immediately discarded when they could no longer do what they were good at. <laughs> and it really sucks and it's a real unfortunate thing. So it was actually very nice for a movie, even if it's, if it's an, an insane movie like Rocky IV to actually be talking about it. Where the hell am I going to find this damn sunfish is the real answer here. I don't know if it's here. Maybe I should go back to the beach. God, I ain't getting shit here. Alright, I'm going to the beach. I've literally got like, more trash shit from the river than any, anything else. Alright. Let's go. 
It doesn't seem that shallow. I could just easily swim across, but whatever. Gotta build something. Uh, yeah, and I haven't watched Rocky V because I think Rocky V is actually... It was the movie that killed the Rocky franchise. <laughs> it never continued until Rocky Balboa. Years later. Way later. And Rocky Balboa is, from what I remember of it, actually very solid. A actual... And then the Creed movies, which I've never seen, but I've heard amazing things about them, so... I'm kind of interested to try them out. I don't know when I'll ever get the... Is courage is the right word? The the inkling to get past Rocky uh, Rocky Five. Maybe I should just skip Rocky Five altogether. I can't really remember anything in it that would be worth watching unless you just wanted to make fun of it. It really is a baffling decision for a character. For I guess it's understandable. It's like oh Rocky suffers in insane brain damage. But over time, the movie ends up being incoherent because it turns out the injury that he suffered would not have caused him to retire from boxing. And once Stallone heard that, he's like, oh shit, he could keep going. And that's why Rocky Balboa goes with Rocky now in the picture. My tank half empty. No sunfish. Hmm. Uh, I feel like I'm going to fail this man and his fish. The fishing, the fishing fandom is dying. Give me a hashtag fish in the comments to let to let my neighbor know people still care about fish. A lot of sardines, man. Maybe there's another place I should be fishing. Come on, did it do? Oh, there it is. S soggy fucking newspaper. What? Go. Damn right. Fish is fear. Fish fear me. Sardine. That was way too much effort for a sardine. There you go. No. I may as well put the soggy ass newspaper in here. Yoop. But yeah, the Rocky series. I uh, watched the, the first two Ghost Riders because I've been reading through Ghost Rider, and after Neo mentioned Spirit of Vengeance is f a fun movie to watch, even if it's maybe not the greatest. He didn't say it was not the greatest, he just said it was very fun. And I agree, it is a very fun movie. It's way better than the original Ghost Rider. A lot of people apparently, I guess a lot of reviewers don't like. Um, didn't like the original Ghost Rider, but they said that the sequel was way worse, and a lot of people who actually went to go see it felt that. And I don't know what the fuck those people were talking. They must not have ever seen that at first. <gasps> God damn, it's a flounder. They must have never have seen the original Ghost Rider in years, because that original Ghost Rider is just boring in a lot of parts. There's some good parts to it, but it's just boring in a lot of others. I guess I should start heading on. I don't know where the fuck I'm going to find this fish. The ultimate adventure is fishing, and I thank you very much for staying this long. I'm gonna get my one final fish. Oh god. Ah! No, one final fish. I promised one final fish for the people, and I'm gonna get that fish. Oh god. I would love that treasure chest. Lounder again. And Jove. Alright, let's go home. Gonna fly now. Fishing's done now. Gonna go on home now. Do 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 ba do ba do do do. The reason I know that song so well is they play it all the time in Rocky. Just constant. It's at the beginning of the movie, and it's at usually during the most intense parts of the of the movie as well, or during a training montage right before the big fight. Yeah. Boom! All right, let's go to bed. I wonder how much money I'm gonna make from this. Probably not a lot. Yes. 
Ooh, my fishing rod proficiency went up. Hey, not bad. We might be able to afford the good stuff soon. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll come back for Stardew Valley if you guys still want to see some more. Yeah, chances are it's going to be a lot of fishing, but maybe next time I'll actually go mining for a bit. Um, well, I need to find that flounder. <laughs> so maybe, not the flounder, yeah, the flounder. So I need to find it wherever it is. So, wait, do I need to find a flounder? Or sun, sunfish, sunfish. So until next time, everyone, you have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.